Many anglers are aware of the giant fall caddis, often called October caddis, or scientifically called Dicosmicus, which hatch from our anatomous fish rivers in the fall. These large aquatic insects can be tasty morsels for hungry trout in the larva, pupa, and adult stages. Dicosmicus larvae are case fillers. They start to appear on our river bottoms in late January. Cases are cylindrical in form and are made from bits and pieces of the river bottom bound together with a sticky silken thread. They graze on the slimy algae that grows on riverbed rocks. In certain parts of some rivers, larva populations might reach 100 individuals per square yard. By June, these insects are large enough to attract the attention of foraging Canada goose goslings who consume all they can reach. For that reason, most larvae in the faster, deeper parts of the river have a better survival rate. At this stage, larval cases are made from both rocks and vegetable matter, and especially fur needles, which act like veins on an arrow to provide stability in the fast flows. During the summer, there is a lot of behavioral and catastrophic drift of these insects during the brightest part of each day, and a peaking case caddis imitation can be very effective for trout. In order to grow, Dicosmicus larva must discard a case that is becoming too small for a new larger one that must be built from scratch. During this period, larvae leave their houses and drift freely with the currents where they are extremely vulnerable to all predators, including trout. This drifting while naked type of activity is most prevalent in the later stages of development during the months of June and July. On most rivers, this behavioral drift cycle is at peak around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Often fishing with larger harrier type nymphs can be productive during periods when all other insect activity is largely non-existent. Be sure to fish your fly very close to the bottom. Eventually the case larvae leave the faster parts of the river and discard the vegetable components used in their cases. Their final cases just before entering pupation are made entirely of small stones. Trout will still consume them, eating larvae with case and all. Often during the second half of July, a spun rubber case caddis will do the trick. Get your case caddis imitations from www.flyfishusa.com.